you know, the fairy lights are taken down. Christmas tree is in the process of being put away. Yesterday I went into the nursing center and signed my mom up for hospice. And this morning I got a call from hospice saying she's not looking very good. We'll give her some pain medicine. So they did, and about 20 minutes later, I didn't even have time to, I mean, I was dressed, but not dressed to go outside, because it's cold. So I was putting clothes on, more clothes on, and got a phone call back saying that mom had passed. So my mom died today. And exactly a month ago, my brother Richard died. So I called my other brother down in Georgia and told him, we were both kind of shocked. I mean, you know, y'all know it's going to happen sooner or later, but you kind of think you have a little more time to deal with stuff. But nope. So I have to talk with the funeral home people soon. Probably Saturday. And I'm going to try to arrange it for a week from Saturday. Talk to both Brian and Scott. They're coming in, I think. And uh, my brother's driving up. Scott might be here for a week or two, and if so, he can definitely lend a hand. So we're definitely going to need it. Cleaning, sorting, decluttering, etc. But uh, I tell you, sometimes life goes a different direction than you think it's going to go a lot of times. It does. And I know I'm older and I should be able to expect stuff, but uh, my living here depends upon mom being alive too, so. I must say though, and this is going to sound really cold and mean and heartless, but because she and I never really had a decent relationship and she was a narcissistic mother and all the crap that I've had to endure my whole life, it did, was kind of a relief. So I've been living as a failure under her. So now, if I'm a failure, it's all my fault. And basically, it always has been. If I'm a failure, it's my fault. But when you're alive, you don't, when people are around you, you don't see it that way. And even in George Harrison said it in a song, and it's been in the Bible and, and lots of other scriptures, that you can, it's easier to find fault in someone else than it is to find fault in yourself. So my foul fallibles, foibles, it's my doing. And like when you want to be happy and you're miserable, you got to do it yourself. You can't depend on someone to make you happy. They can help you be happy, but you have to, to make that decision. And a lot of people make decisions to do or not to do something. Or if you ignore it, it's making a decision to do. My mom made a decision. She was a very stubborn person. And all my stubbornness comes from her side of the family. She didn't want to be around without my brother Richard doting on her all the time. And he passed away. She said, why does it have to end like this? And I said, it doesn't have to end like this, Mom. Because I spent most of the day with her Monday. And I saw her yesterday. It doesn't have to end like this. You can make a decision, but it doesn't have to be bad. You make the most of what you have and, and the time you have. But you made the decision not to be here anymore. So that's what I have to tell you today. I will be having more creative. I've been having creative thoughts. I uh, want to get back into the antique sideshow, but I just have to think of some items for Ms. Gretchner to, to uh, elaborate on. So... I don't know what the next few days are going to have in store. Maybe something, maybe nothing. Oh, tomorrow. Tomorrow I will have one. Uh, the second half of the, that particular video I'm making tonight, because I made the first part a week ago. It's a food. It's a food that needed to be in its own juices for a week. So you'll, you'll see one tomorrow for sure. But yeah, boy. When you get punched in the stomach by life, knock the air out of you. It's kind of hard to go upward and onward. <laughs>